Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Saturday, July 23rd, 2016 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is I love. And I love the first day of Leo, the real first day of Leo, the day when it hits one degree and we really get that flood of Leo energy coming in. And with the degrees, there's only one one degree and the one degree resonates with that energy of the sun, the energy of Leo. So today is a great day to let that energy come in and flood you fill of the love, filled with the love vibration, filled with creativity and joy and playfulness and all the things that the high vibration of Leo brings forth within us. Um, that being said, we have the moon in Pisces, and the moon in Pisces can instigate an interesting part of Leo. Moon in Pisces with sun in Leo can bring forth kind of a dramatic energy. Um, and what I think this is mostly is that uh, moon in Pisces can really tune us into the past. Um, it can tune us into karmic energy. It can make us really sensitive. And, you know, Sun and Leo tunes us into our inner child. So there may be some inner child elements that need to come up and out. And I believe, you know, looking at the astro, it's most likely for that to happen first thing in the morning. So if you wake up kind of feeling a little dramatic, I encourage you to get it out. I encourage you not to take it out on somebody, but I do encourage you to let your inner child express what it is that needs to be said, that needs to be shared, that needs to be released in this energy. We have the uh, moon beginning the day with a connection to Pluto. So Pluto wants to ultimately empower us. So anything that comes up is helping us release to re-empower, to bring us back into balance in this love vibration. We then have the moon in Pisces connecting to Jupiter. Jupiter is at 20 degrees. That's a two. That's a degree of nurturing yourself. And what I'm getting from this is, you know, part of this nurturing is making sure you're, you know, figuring out your spiritual end of things. You're taking care of yourself on a spiritual end. You're doing your meditation. You're doing your, I don't know, what is it? What's your spiritual practice? You're sitting in nature. You're hugging a tree. You're, you know, playing with your children. That can be um, a spiritual connection. But make sure you're getting your spiritual connection in as well as taking care of yourself on a physical level. There's kind of an element of balance going on in the astro today. So find that balance. Take care of yourself on both levels to really come in and that will help you open up, bring forth that playful Leo energy. Now I want to mention we're building to something tomorrow. We've been having this yod in Leo, pointing at Leo, pointing at Mercury and Venus in Leo. This yod is going to be focused on Venus tomorrow with uh, Venus and Pluto in conjunct and the moon's kind of feeding into this today and I'm getting again Lion King, this time for real Lion King. Remember who you are. Venus, although relationships, romance, all those things, beauty, really comes down to on a level that we can work with, knowing our worth and remembering your light, remembering your divinity, remembering your divine creativity, remembering you are divine love incarnate. And so remember that to re-empower yourself in and through this energy. Mahalo is echoing exactly what I have to say. He knows he is divine love incarnate. <laughs> Very fuzzy divine love. Um, we also have an interesting thing happening between some of the asteroids. We've got Juno and Lilith hanging out in Scorpio, right there at the very beginning of Scorpio, zero degrees, one degree Scorpio. Juno is representative of relationships. Lilith represents being one unto yourself. It is the wild woman within. And I can't think of a better time to let your wild woman shenanigans come out than with Leo time. Opposite that, we have Ceres, which just moved into Taurus. So these, these asteroids are bringing us some balance into our sensuality, into our physicality, into re-empowering ourselves on many levels. And being that Lilith and Juno are, you know, lighting up Scorpio, and we've got Lilith in, um, or not Lilith, sorry, Ceres in Taurus, and we've got this Leo energy coming in, there may be some sensual or even sexual energy that's wanting to come up and out and be expressed through you. So bring that forth within you. I mean, even if it's just dancing in a way that feels empowering to you, that's ultimately what I'm getting is the, the you know, overall feeling of the astro is empowerment in your love light being shining. Whatever that is for you, empower it. So 
that being said, let's get into the cards. Oh, there's so many cards. I'm going to start actually with this animal card. Um, praying Mantis. Patience. And I love what they say in this card. It says the kin essence, patience or practice patience in reaction more so than action. And I thought that was such a great lesson, especially with, you know, any of the dramatics that come up or even with, you know, Leo energy. It's a fire energy. It wants to go. It wants to like just get everything done. Let's go. Let's dive in. And so it's saying this isn't so much about worrying about action, taking action or non-action. This is all about your reactions. So really pay attention and be present with yourself for that energy. That being said, we're in a period of rebirth. And I love this rebirth card because we got Grumpy Camel into Lion, into Innocent Being, that inner child energy. And here's where we are at. Let that innocent child come forth. Get beyond the illusion that you know you can't play as an adult. Figure out what does it mean for you to play. And I think that's a hard thing for adults. You know, when we were little, like maybe it was dolls and like dressing up. What is it for you now? Maybe it's the same thing. Maybe you still like to get dressed up. Or maybe you want to go out and like dance with your friends. It's important for you to take yourself on an adventure. Get beyond the idea that you can't have fun as an adult. You're here to have fun. You're here to participate. Especially if you're feeling lonely, if you're feeling all alone, if you're feeling some of that drama energy, this is a call to get out there and have some fun. Now the final card I felt inspired to call oh, two uh, animal cards, one from the other deck. I pulled Beaver. And Beaver is about... Um, being of service. And this is a great thing. If you don't know how to have fun, if you don't know how you want to play, if you're not really sure how to bring forth this love energy, there's a Doreen Virtue card that says, if you get nervous, focus on service. And that's what I get from Beaver. If you're not really sure how to bring forth this energy, how can you be of service? Ask the universe or go do something, maybe volunteer or do something, because there's nothing more like heart fulfilling when you don't know what to do to feed yourself into something like that and brighten other people's lives and you will find yourself brightening as well. So I encourage all of the shenanigans that I just mentioned. <laughs> Enjoy this Leo energy and I will see you tomorrow. Namaste.